poor little fella. Your hair just looks terrible. Quinnies, 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 quinnies. Is this amazing or what? <laughs> poor little hair. So I guess this is the first video I've done since I had him in there in the bedroom with me that day. And he looked so cute and healthy. And other than, I guess other than his hair and the ringworm thing, he's healthy. You look, oh, your eyes look, oh, goodness, you got it good, didn't you? Oh, you got it again. His eyes look good, don't they? Yeah, they're nice and clear. <laughs> hey, wild man, hey. <laughs> So poor little man has been in isolation because of ringworm for how long? A month now? Yeah, I think so. And I'm not sure, but maybe he gave me ringworm. Anyway, I feel so terrible about him being out, being locked in that room all the time. I'm going to start bringing him outside and letting him play out here. But the lice is gone, right? Yep. No more lice. No more lice. So as soon as we get one more result with no more ringworm, he can come out and start playing with other animals. But trying to keep from having a house full of infected ringworm animals. Get that leaf. Throw him that leaf in there. <gasps> what is that? Oh, you missed it. Oh, there it is. You got it now. Well, I've always wanted a hairless cat. I just didn't know this was the way we were going to get one. Oh, he's ready to play. He is. That's why I feel so terrible about having to leave him alone all the time. Well, this is good for him. Maybe he can become our hiking cat. He's getting good at riding in the car. Yeah. <laughs> Poor little thing. Domino. You kind of look like a leopard. You're all spotted up now. Uh oh. Uh oh. That is unfortunate. I'd <laughs> <laughs> say turn him loose with the chickens, but can he give ringworm to a chicken? <laughs> 